Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Neuro, and I have an amazing infernal unit to show you here today. It is the Magmadon, which is basically a hammerhead shark-looking rhino dinosaur that has a little imp or goblin driving him around. This is one of the higher tech units. You need tier two technology to be able to make these. And if you get the, what is it called? If you get the Shadow Cleft, there is an upgrade for these guys, the Demon Hoof Tremors, which allows their trample ability to periodically stun enemy ground units that are nearby. 60 seconds res uh, research time, 100, 100 in resource cost. Let's just get this while we look at the stats of the unit. So this guy has a lot of health, 120 white health, 480 regular health. They've got a Surge Smack as their normal attack which does 30 damage, 0.5 range, so short range. Attack speed is 2.1, so it's a pretty slow attack, and it targets ground. Infernal armor, 20 armor, and 3.5 move speed. What does a brute have for armor again? Brute, what do you have, man? This has got 10 armor, so these have double the armor of a brute. As you can see, they do also have double or quadruple the hitbox. These are pretty large units. And they do have collision with other units. And then they have this ability, Trample, which I don't know if you recognize Primal Beast from Dota, but it makes me think of that. Because you've got a big dinosaur looking thing just smacking the ground and doing AoE. So everything in that circle is going to be taking tons of damage. And then if you have the Trample upgrade, it's also going to stun your enemies during that time frame. So this is the kind of unit that you really like to have in the fights in the mess and then just walking through the enemies stunning and smashing stuff and dealing aoe so this is a very high damage unit it's got big aoe it's heavily armored the main limitations with the magmadon would be it doesn't shoot air so it's not going to help you against air threats and it's kind of slow it's not a super fast unit uh, 3.5 speed so this is slower than gaunts and brutes so you want to make sure that you have some way to maneuver this unit around. Maybe you're dropping it, or maybe you just know that you have a large enough army that you can deal with stuff. But it has another ability called Consume, which is shared by another Infernal unit. You can sacrifice a nearby Fell Hog or Fiend, recovering 100% of max white health instantly. So you see you have this 60 of 120. Uh, this white health bar usually decays off of Shroud. But if we eat one of the Fiends, we're back to 120. That's pretty good. Pretty good to be back at 120. Okay, where's another one of these dudes? This guy's got full white health. It looks like I don't even have to target a fiend either. I'm just gonna press C. Okay, he's not gonna do it because he's got full HP or full uh, white health bar. Let's just chew through that real quick. Just to test it here. So you can see the attack from this one. It hits pretty hard but it's a very slow attack. Okay. Stop that, stop, stop. Thank you. Okay. So let's say I press C. So he just walks to it and gets it. Now I wanna test the range of that. How far away can I be for it to go and kill something? Okay, now it this far away. It does nothing. Okay, he walks at it from there. Is there a range listed on this? No, but it seems about this. So here, he's not interested. But then if you go here, he's interested. Cool, so that's effectively the range of that. They'll just go at one of these and basically eat whichever one is closest. Let's test that again. Yep, they just eat the closest one. Makes sense. So it works on these fiends, and these fiends are very low value. So trading one of these, which is 75 total health, assuming you have full white health, that's still way less than a Magmadon's white health bar, which is 120. So really cool unit, very tanky fighting unit that really wants to get in the thick of big battles and just smash stuff, applying stuns and dealing big AOE. 
and then you can get the value over time by just hitting that consume. And because it's a smart command, that is it just goes and looks for one to eat itself, you don't need to micro every individual one and say, okay, you need to bite this fiend, you need to bite that fiend. You could potentially micro that, but yeah, just uh, letting the AI do its work is pretty cool. But I like this unit. Aesthetic is pretty cool. Feels a little bit like a Ultralisk slash a Primal Beast kind of a thing. Not a super fast unit, but I do like the tremor ability. I played an Infernal versus Infernal 1v1 and got destroyed by someone who just walked three of these through my army with the trample upgrade. It stunned all of my brutes and my gaunts, and I just got owned. So watch out for the Magmadons. You do have to tech up to get that with your Greater Shrine, and then you get the upgrade from the Shadow Cleft. Best of luck to you. Let me know what you think of the Magmadon.